This is the quilt that makes me cry every time. <laughs> this is the one that's hanging in the hospital that I happened upon uh, randomly one day. And it it's so touching. Well, you can see that they've grown in their skills. I mean, uh, there were also more participants this time. Um, once some of the guys saw the, the finished product, they said, oh, OK, maybe I do want to maybe I do want to learn how to sew. And uh, so there were more participants in the second iteration. And um, yeah, this one, I mean, uh, it just pops that that blue. Um, yeah, it, it definitely was uh, not to take anything away from the original quilt, but you can definitely see that their skills had grown. Zero, what do you have to say about, um, is it the butterfly effect of touching one person's life and it it's reciprocal and... Well, I think I think the arts is definitely like a connector. You know, um, I was at Jewel J. Newman the other day, um, walking the grounds with uh, one of the employees, and she was talking about. She was saying that she didn't have any background in the arts, but you know, we were talking about this mural that's going to go up uh, soon over there, and I said, "Well, you're you're one of the people that artists create art for, you know." Um, mm -hmm. And so, uh, artists and non-artists alike are all connected by the arts because if you're not uh, a creator of art, you're a consumer, and in many cases, you're both. But I think that once you uh, start to make an impact. It could be a very small impact, but it encourages others to start making an impact as well. And yeah, it's kind of contagious. So yeah, the ripple effect, it's, it's real. It is.